This system is a, uh, uh, they call it the late 2012 model. I got this in uh, July of 2013, actually. And um, I'm going to show you some specs on this computer. <clears throat> All right, this one is the 3.4 gigahertz i7, 32 gigs of RAM. And uh, this one's running the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 680MX with 2 gigabytes of RAM for video. Um, so I just ran the Cinebec, Cine, Cinebench, all the uh, different tests on here. Just want to show. I want to show how this computer stacks up against the late 2013 model with the new Haswell processor and the four gigabyte NVIDIA 780MX card. All right. So on this one, we're looking at uh, the single core. Um, we're looking at 132 CB, CPU is 635 CB, and uh, the OpenGL ran at 66 frames per second. Okay, just to show you how this thing stacks up, this is the chart showing the CPU single core. Here's the CPU using all eight cores, came up with uh, 635. And then the OpenGL scores. I managed to get 66 frames per second off of the uh, off of the Cinebench benchmark. All right, and then we'll go to I'll do a screen capture on my on the other iMac I have sitting behind me and show you how it compares to the system. Okay. Um, I've moved over to the late 2013 iMac and uh, show you that I'm here on the on the late uh, 2013 model. All right, this one's running a 3.5 gigahertz i7. I've got 32 gigs of RAM in this machine, and this one has the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 780M with four gigabytes of RAM. All right, now. Let me show you what Cinebench did on this machine. All right, OpenGL scored 95, almost 95 frames per second compared to the late 2012 model, which got 66 frames per second. The CPU running eight cores came up with 724 and CPU single core did a little bit better as well at 152, all right? And then if we go down and look here, look at the, the rankings. All right, we're looking at the CPU on this one. Here's the OpenGL scores. This one came up with 95 frames per second. CPU single core came up with 152. And uh, uh, the last machine came up with um, um, a little bit lower. Than, than this machine did. Overall, it, it does improve everything. Um, the uh, the biggest difference was in the the OpenGL score from jumping from 66 to 95 frames per second. That's uh, that's an increase by about a third over the, the previous generation iMac. Um, and the CPU, yeah, there's there's some modest gains with that. Um, so I don't know. It might be right for some people to upgrade. It may not be. You know, if you can if you can get good money for your uh, 2012 model on eBay or something, then uh, it might be worth upgrading to the upgrading to the new machine now. But uh, all right, that's it. Have a good day, YouTube.